Tommy Lee breaks his ribs on the opening night of the stadium tour. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. The stadium tour kicked off in Georgia tonight. Believe it or not, Motley Crue shenanigans have already begun. Just after playing four songs into the set, Tommy Lee apparently broke four ribs, ribs and got replaced by drummer Tommy Kufatos. And you're asking me, who is he? I need some information on myself. Apparently, he um, drummed for um, Black Sabbath on their tour in 2013 for the 13 album and some billboard wasn't involved. But getting back into this, the people are asking Mr. Morrison already um, how convenient another drummer was on standby just like that. You know, was it a, was it a um, guitar tech? Who the hell knows? All I know is that I know who, that this is the guy who filled in. Look on, on journalist Mitch LaFont's page and it mentioned... Um, it was the fourth song. I mean, it's, this is freaking insane. If um, you know what I mean. Well, the word on the street is he broke his ribs. Not sure how long he's going to be out. But the question is, did he already have broken ribs and he tried to play and realized he couldn't play? I saw a quick video of, of him talking to the crowd, saying someone else is going to help us out, and then he came out. So who the hell even knows? I mean, if this guy's ribs were cracked, don't you think he would have um, sought medical, medical attention right away? If you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there, subscribe. Thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's really appreciated. If you'd like to make a small donation to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, you can kindly do so via Show Morrison Enterprise or via PayPal. And then um, Vince Neal's vocals, they were either hit or miss. The stage show didn't look like it was much at all. The only surprises um, in the show was the title track, The Too Fast for Love, in this first show. And... Um, that song Primal Scream for the first time they did it in like eight years. Unfortunately, it sounds like a motley joke. Fans were crazy enough to shell out $150 for like nosebleed seats. I don't even know what fans paid for. Paid for almost any other seat in the building, honestly. This was not a show Mr. Morris was 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 interested in. You know, loves poison, but to, just to go on second and play. Play, a few, play 10 songs isn't going to cut, cut me to, to see him. We wait for him to go headline. I wish they would do new music as well. And then um, they did that dirt song with that singer machine, that rapper Machine Gun Kelly, I think his name is. But either way, how much did um, the fan, I mean, how much did Molly Crew know that Tommy Lee had broken ribs and and was trying and wasn't going to play with it. They were going to try to wing it. There's no way this man, um, Tommy Klufatos, could have just like jumped up, snapped his finger, and be like, I'm in curtain number one. I'll play some Motley Crue songs. There's more to this story. What do you think, friends? Was Tommy Lee's ribs broken before the stadium tour even began today? Was Motley Crue covering up the fact that the ribs of Tommy Lee were broken. What are your thoughts, friends? Shame, shame, shame.